Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. There's so many different things I want to do today, so let's get started. So I just want to say I actually just finished playing Harvest Moon One World for... I've been playing for the last two hours and let's just say, let's keep it short. I'm so happy to be back on Pioneers of Olive Town. It's a world of difference and this game feels so polished and so fun in comparison uh, <laughs> you guys can check my video if you want to know more on one world it's not as bad as i thought it would be but it's not the best let's just say it like that but maybe if i play more maybe if i play more it will get better so if you any of you guys have played one world please let me know i'm very curious to see what you think and okay so let's take care of this very quickly all right so in the last video i did quite a bit of fishing so i want to go to the museum and give my fish to make sure i don't sell them without having a copy at the, the museum first let me just sell my mayonnaise my yogurt and my okra and oh yeah actually during last video i was showing you guys about my seed maker and someone in the comments asked how do you buy high quality seeds at the shop in the general store because actually when you go to the general store they only sell their zero star quality seeds so what they suggested is to try selling these seeds that i made with the seed maker so they're at four stars now so i don't know if i sell them and tomorrow if i go to the general store maybe they will have the upgraded version so we can take a look at that we can try it out actually tomorrow the general store is going to be closed but i guess maybe we can check the day after all right so i've made some space in my bag and i think i want to go mining actually i want to go to the third mine i think there are 50 floors and I really want to explore and find out what's at the bottom of the mine. I think the max I've reached was about 30 or so. So I have lots of space in my bag and I want to get some food. And if you guys don't know, different meal types have different effects in this game. So we have salad, we have soup, and we have the main dish. So basically the salad, what is going to do is that it will give you extra hearts. So uh, for a temporary period of time, you'll have extra hearts, so more stamina. And if you eat a soup, your hearts will get stronger and your stamina will decrease uh, more slowly. And if you eat a main dish, uh, what it will do is that it will replenish your stamina a lot. But you're not going to be able to eat more after that unless you eat like desserts and small things. So what I'm going to do right now, I think I would like to have some soup uh, just so my hearts last longer. And after that, I will prepare like a main dish and a few other things that I can eat. And also you can't combine the effect of the soup and the effect of the salad. So if you have an extra heart and then you eat a soup to make your heart stronger, it's actually going to remove your extra heart. So you have to choose which one you prefer. And now let's make a few main dish. Oh, let's oh, have, I can make fried fish. So let's do that. And there's not much more else I can cook for now, but you know what? Uh, maybe we can cook some dessert. Mm, we don't have much, you know what? Let's just make some tea. All right, so we don't have too much food, but we might be good. And it's already 2 p.m. And time continues to go when you're inside. Time always run, uh, even inside the mine. So if you want to go on the deeper level, you have to get started early. So let's do that right now. All right, so let me just get these. And after that, we're going to go in the mine. All right, so my strategy for today is really just to go as deep as I can in the mine. So I don't necessarily want to gather lots of ores i just want to reach the bottom and see if there's anything interesting there so i'm gonna try to just head straight to the ladder try to go as quickly as i can 
and if I can find some holes I'm gonna just jump if I have enough energy and hopefully I can go down quickly so yeah sometimes you have to find the ladder which will be under the rocks oh. all right actually it was right here I wasn't too sure about the mining in this game when I was looking at the trailers in the screenshot before the game released but actually when I'm playing it now I I really am enjoying the mining I feel like in Story of Seasons it's always really like hit or miss like I remember in Harvest Moon 64 I liked it in Mineral Town I liked it but in Mineral Town I feel like it was very hard if you wanted Unless you were kind of like saving and loading your file and kind of cheating in a way, if that makes sense. Other, if you were not doing that, it was almost impossible to like reach the bottom, right? And actually in this one, you can't save. Yeah, you cannot save in your mind, so no cheating this time around. So you really have to do it all by yourself on in one go. But it is a little bit easier than in mineral town because you don't have to use your hoe and yeah i don't know i'm just enjoying it so far and yeah one mining system that i didn't like was in a wonderful life i don't remember too clearly how it worked but basically you just had this tiny little cave and you had like you couldn't go deeper you just had to use your hoe and like find some things but there were no rocks there were no ladders there were no levels or anything very very interesting and also i'm curious to see if in this one if there's anything special we can find in the mines like in mineral town we had like the kappa jewels and the goddess jewels and the i'm sure i'm missing some there were so many like very hard to find items and minerals and like very rare like end game things that were a nice challenge to find but in this one I don't know actually so that's kind of what I'm trying to explore today so it's already 5 p.m. Um, I have I don't know <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to reach 50 but if we can reach at least maybe 30 I at least want to see something special something somewhat special today I wasn't too sure what I wanted to show in today's video and I was like, you know what? I didn't go mining a lot recently, so let's mine the second mine when you reach the bottom. You actually unlock a mini game and it's after 30 floors. And that mini game, if you score, I think you need to get 4000 points, you get two extra stamina hearts. Uh, which I didn't do, I didn't, I was not able to do it, but last time I tried that minigame I had the silver hammer and I'm thinking with the gold hammer it's gonna be easier now so maybe I could try it again. Uh, but yeah, so it's definitely something interesting and very helpful and nice. So hopefully in the third mine there's something too. So we're now on 19 and we haven't found any holes so far. Oh, you know what I should do actually? I forgot to eat my soup. I took the time to cook something and I completely forgot. All right, so as you can see, my hearts are kind of golden right now. So it's gonna decrease a little bit slower. And there's so many moles, you have to be careful. Oh, here it is. I feel like the deeper you get also the each floor gets a little bit bigger and there's many different rooms and things maybe I should get that thing you know what I'm not too sure oh yeah that's sapphire actually I'm not sure what you can do with this I think you can make some jewelry I don't know I haven't made any yet there is a jewelry maker but I have not used it I don't know if it's a good way to make money or uh, if it's mostly for like gifts so it's 8 p.m. and we're at floor 26 so I feel like we're definitely not gonna be able to reach 50 unless we find a hole which we haven't found any so far but I feel like if you do want to reach 50 you need to start very early in the morning like you have to wake up at 6 and if you want to wake up at 6 you have to go to bed quite early as well but yeah, you would have to wake up at 6, do your chores very quickly, and then straight to the mine. But today we went to the museum and we did other things. 
So maybe I didn't pick the best day to do that. Oh, guys, so I've reached level 32 and now we have these electric moles. You know what? I Oh my gosh, they look so hard to get. But I want to see if they give something different. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. Ah, oh my. Oh, I got it one time, one time out of, and I need to find the same one. Oh gosh, guys, this is impossible. Okay, you know what? Let me try something. Maybe if I charge and like, like this. Okay, yeah, I think that's the way to go. You just charge. Wow, that's actually <laughs> quite challenging. You know what? Maybe we can stay on floor 32 and just try to get these moles. They better give me something that is worth it because they're causing me so much pain. They, These guys are so quick. So quick. Okay, alright guys. We almost got this one. It's halfway. Just one or two more hits and... Ah, almost. Like this. Oh, 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 we got wild berry. Are you serious? I was really expecting something better than that. Maybe we're gonna be luckier with this one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I got it actually. Oh, okay, that was good, but not that good. Yeah, you know what? I feel like they're not worth it. I feel like that's a waste of my energy, waste of my time. So it's 11 p.m. Let's see if we can find any ladder and maybe we can go down a little bit more oh so i've got ooh, a beautiful shiny bag so i'm gonna bring this to reina the museum and i think that might be something uh, of value all right so it's getting late guys i'm gonna go to bed so we didn't make it to the bottom, but we still got something special. Oh, I think I am about to get my little baby cow. I don't know how many days it took, but I feel like it was quite quick. I feel like it was not that long. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I need a screenshot of the. Ah, oh, that's adorable. That's so cute. I love these kind of little cutscenes. Ah, uh, how should we name her? So the mom is called momo so maybe the baby should be mimi that's so cute that is adorable let's say hi to mimi ah uh, oh and today's raining so i don't have to water my crops and as you can see since we went to bed late my energy <laughs> i have like half of my energy but it's okay, we're not gonna do too too much today. I'm gonna bring my bag to the museum. I definitely wanna see what's in there. And I'm so happy for my little baby cow. I wasn't expecting that. I feel like in Mineral Town, it took almost a, like not a month, but like a really long time uh, when you had a pregnant animal, but now it's going quite fast in this one. And yeah, my crops are doing good. I'm gonna have to buy a little bit more seeds actually. Okay, let me just get that chestnut. These little chestnuts spawn everywhere. And, oh my gosh, the trees over here, such a mess. Let me just <laughs> clean this up very quickly. Very, very quickly. Up like this, like this. Just chop this one here. And these two guys as well. All right, it's already a little bit better, but yeah, I definitely I'm gonna have to come back over here, clean things up properly. Alright, like this, and we're gonna make some planks. I need to make some more planks for my stable. I feel like this is a never ending. I just need so much of these. You can never have too much planks in this game. Let's go see how our little baby cow is doing. Ah, so cute. She's so cute. Everybody's so cute. And all right, so we're gonna get a lot of stuff today. So we have milk, we have cow milk, we have goat milk, we have alpaca wool, we have sheep wool, we have rabbit wool. Everybody's produ producing today. And that new thing that we built in the last video is so useful. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, they don't have any more food. 
let me try to find some for them you know what maybe i can build them the little thing that i made in the barn as well i i remember i just need the three silver ingots for that so i think i should be good to make it all right like this and ta-da such a time saver all right next let's go back to the museum and let's see what's in our shiny bag oh it's emerald wow so i'm not sure what you can make with this but i'm pretty sure it is quite valuable so i'm gonna hold on to it all right guys you know what i think i'm gonna do today i'm just gonna clean my farm i'm gonna get some wood and i'm gonna keep an eye on my makers try to make some planks try to make some ingots and I'm gonna see you when my cleaning up is done. All right guys, so it's pretty much cleared up now. There's still a few things left like this puddle, but I don't mind it too, too much. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And I'm just gonna sort my things. All right, so yesterday I actually just continued cleaning up my farm. And as you can see, it's already a mess over again already already a mess and look at all of these puddles everywhere so i'm gonna have to clean again today but yeah are these ready yes so my sweet potatoes are ready i feel like they really don't take too long i think like every three or four days they grow back and so what i'm going to do today is i'm gonna check if when you ship seeds that you make if it unlocks higher level seeds at the general store so as soon as the store opens we're gonna check that out and I would also like to breed another one of my animals so I'm not sure which one yet maybe we can have another sheep another alpaca unfortunately I can't breed my chickens yet because I still have to build the biggest chicken coop so let's see how messy it got over here oh, actually this side is not too bad it's still pretty clean let's just make a few threads all right so let's check this out and sweet potato no actually it doesn't matter it is still zero star so even if you sell the seeds that you make it doesn't change what's in the store However, we did unlock these chili peppers uh, last time because I saw some wild ones on my farm. So maybe we can buy that. You know what? I'm going to buy more than that. I'm going to buy, I don't know. Oh, they take nine days to grow. You know what? Let's buy 27 of these. Uh, I'm going to replace whatever crop is needs to be replaced next. And also, we're going to... I don't know if it's cheaper... I don't know what's the price difference. For example, if I buy a cow, it's 3,000. But if I want to breed a cow, it is also 3,000, right? Oh, but the brown cow, if I want to breed a brown cow, it's 3,000. But if I want to buy a brown cow, it's 5,000. And I don't know if you get any kind of benefits. Like you can see their generation so as you can see Mimi is the second generation so I'm looking forward to seeing how that affects things so does a third or fourth generation animal is better than the first or second generation I don't know that's something we're gonna have to try out um, so maybe I should wait if I want more cows to wait until Mimi grows up and then I can have like a third generation if that makes any difference um, but for now, what should we breed? Maybe we can have another alpaca. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's go for alpaca. All right, so we're gonna have a little baby on the way. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Uh, I'm just gonna do some little things. I'm gonna walk around and talk to some villagers and continue cleaning up my farm. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you'd like me to cover anything in a future video, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Oh, I'm going to go plant these chili peppers before I forget. 
But yeah, feel free to click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Story of Season content like this. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a good day.